everyone, and how are you? My name is Dr. Anika Daniels Osaze, and I am your host for SUNY Downstate's Health Center. And today we had a very ex we have a very exciting event for you. We are actually meeting with Dr. Wayne Riley, our new president here at Downstate, who will make an announcement about our newest merger and affiliation with Maimonides Health Center, where we are going to have a joint program with the neurology department between Downstate and Maimonides. So today you'll have an opportunity to see our president meeting with the CEO and several other dignitaries from Maimonides to talk about the importance of this affiliation and what we're going to be able to do in the future in terms of health care for all of Brooklyn. So I'd like to uh, begin by introducing our master of ceremonies today, Dean Carlos Patu. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, it's truly an honor and a, and a wonderful experience to be able to uh, celebrate when two institutions that both serve a community and have done so many times collaborating, but now are looking at how we can really serve the community the best, uh, come together. So it is uh, my pleasure to be here, to be able to have you learn about this new regional program in neurosciences, and to get to know some of the critical players in moving this forward. Uh, I would like to start by introducing our brand new president, who's celebrating his first month here. And so if I could, Dr. Wayne Riley. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dean. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, good afternoon and welcome to Downstate. Uh, as the Dean uh, just pointed out, yesterday marked uh, my official one month uh, uh, service to Downstate. It was also my birthday yesterday, uh, so very special, uh, very special day in our household. So again, we're delighted that you're here, and we're here to really underscore how we at Downstate and the tremendous faculty under the Dean and our Department of Neuro Neurology have come together with another great Brooklyn neighbor, and that is the clinical leadership and uh, hospital leadership of Maimonides, one of the storied uh, hospitals in this country uh, to come together to improve uh, the care of Brooklyn residents who have neurological uh, problems and conditions. And to me, as a relative newcomer to Brooklyn, this is very exciting because this is the future of where we have to go in healthcare, not only in Brooklyn, but in the nation. Uh, that it's going to call for new approaches, new collaborations, uh, strengthening relationships, recognizing historical ties between institutions in order to take care of patients. That's why we're in this business, ladies and gentlemen, is to make things better uh, for patients. And that is the citizens of Brooklyn who need this type of care, this really specialized care, uh, under the guidance of some terrific neurologists at both Downstate and Maimonides, under superb chair and Dr. Rosenbaum. Uh, we are very excited uh, at this uh, new adventure. I want to acknowledge the presence of the chairman of the board of Maimonides. Uh, we really appreciate, Mr. Chairman, you being here. Uh, of course, the COO, Dominic, and Ken, the uh, CEO. Uh, and some of the Maimonides faculty. Uh, I just saw my dear friend, uh, Dr. Steve Kamholtz, who's a downstate legend. Where's Steve? He's out there somewhere. So again, this is the type of uh, associations we have between the two institutions. And again, uh, we are doing this uh, not for our uh, glory and gratification, but again, to improve the care of the citizens of Brooklyn who have neurological conditions. So. Thank you very much, and I am delighted to now turn it over uh, back to the Dean for uh, additional remarks by our guest. Our next speaker is going to be the President and CEO of Maimonides, Ken Gibbs. It's my pleasure to welcome him here. Thank you, Dean Patu, and it is indeed a pleasure to be here at Downstate. And I want to start by thanking you for all the hard work uh, and the background work that has helped bring us to this point. Um, it also is a pleasure uh, to be here so uh, early in your uh, experience here, uh, President Riley. And I was prepared to say that uh, it was nice to have this announcement at the beginning of your tenure, but now it is also clearly a birthday present. So, uh, 
um, we, we celebrate in that spirit. Um, but as you articulated, this is really about the patients in Brooklyn. Uh, and we as an institution and downstate are both appropriately Brooklyn proud. We all know that Brooklyn is 2.6 million people and on its own would be the fourth largest city in the country and it's on its way, I, I personally believe, to be the third largest within the decade. Uh, and that means uh, there is a scope and a need for services and in particular we're talking today about neurological services, but we have a broader agenda which is to bring, bring the best care to the citizens of Brooklyn. And uh, as, as Dr. Riley was pointing out, the healthcare environment is changing and there is a focus on value. Um, and whatever the changes in the environment are, there is no question but that we have to gr deliver as institutions greater value and excellence in service to the citizenry and it has to be accessible. And by being accessible for Brooklyn, it should be here in Brooklyn. So it's in that spirit that we are incredibly grateful that we can build on what has been a long historic partnership and start to take more significant collaborative actions. And this joint neurology department is very special in that regard. Um, and just as you were kind enough to sing our praises, we have incredible respect for what has been accomplished here at Downstate and what will be accomplished, and in particular, the world-class nature of the neurology department. And so it's an incredible privilege for us to join and to welcome Dr. Rosenbaum into our family to be the first regional head of neurology in the partnership between us and Downstate. Thank you. As you can see, there's a uh, tremendous commitment to this community that these two institutions share. And one of the most important things that it's my privilege to focus on is that in providing the best possible care, it requires us understanding our community, the people we serve in the best possible way. And this is an area that Downstate is now taking a lead on and couldn't partner with a better partner. The idea of personalized medicine, of precision medicine, of work in terms of research and academics that best allows us to serve our patients. And that's an important underscoring. It is my, my privilege to uh, invite the chair of the board of Maimonides, Mr. Eugene Kalin, to join us. And I appreciate his visit. Thank you. So I'm a, I'm a civilian in a crowd of professionals, and uh, I'm modest about my ability to add to what has been and will be said. But I do want to underscore both the Brooklyn angle and the board's commitment. At uh, Maimonides, our board is committed to providing the best possible medical care and committed to providing it in Brooklyn. And we're equally committed to the role of medical education in the provision of medical care to the community. We've had a long-standing relationship with SUNY Downstate. We are two of the most important institutions of any kind in the borough of Brooklyn. But this is an expanded and enhanced relationship. And I can say on behalf of the board, we hope only the first step in the expansion and enhancement. So thank you to Dr. Riley, thank you to the Dean, and thank you to you all. Thank you very much. And now the person charged with bringing this new department into a more integrated and fully functioning entity, Dr. Daniel Rosen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Patu. Um, it's not my birthday. On the other hand, I feel this is like a wedding, or probably more appropriately, I feel like it's a bar mitzvah, and I'm about to read my bar mitzvah speech to the crowd. Um, okay. This newly formed partnership 
off between downstate and Maimonides Neurology will benefit both institutions by leveraging the unique strength of each institution into a cooperative effort aimed at enhancing the quality of care offered to the Brooklyn patient population, while at the same time it will increase the value of medical education and neuroscience research. Specifically, in the clinical arena, we immediately will increase the size of the faculty by 20% by the combination of the two departments. This will also enable us to recruit more top-notch <coughs> faculty as the department grows. Additionally, this combination of the two departments will provide a fuller complement of some of the subspecialties in neurology in different areas. So, for example, in stroke, it's a natural, Steve Rudolph, um, who's standing over there, give me a shout out, who runs the stroke program at Maimonides has built a world-class clinical program. At Downstate, in addition to our clinical presence in stroke, we have a world-class academic uh, di um, division of stroke, and the combination is, will be unbeatable. Um, there are other areas that we have some strengths and Maimonides does not at the present, and vice versa. So Ellen Drexler, who is the division chief and now to be vice chair of neurology at Maimonides, um, has some outstanding subspecialties such as headache, MS, which we are sorely lacking over here. This will enable us to provide on an educational level and on a patient level subspecialty care that, that was not formerly available. And lastly, um, because of economies of scale, this will enable us to utilize the resources of both institutions to build new programs that we would otherwise be unable to do on our own. On an educational level, uh, right off the bat, this will increase the availability of medical student slots for our students. Um, we will also be starting some combined fellowships, but I think most exciting is the development of a new um, residency program in neurology, which will have an emphasis, it will be based primarily at Maimonides, and it will have an emphasis on outpatient and community neurology. Um, <clears throat> lastly, there are our existing clinical research cooperation between the institutions, um, and this combination or partnership will greatly enhance our ability to do clinical research with a focus on clinical trials. Our overall goal is to become the premier provider of comprehensive neurological care in the borough of Brooklyn, and I look forward to working with all of you to help make this come true. Thank you. I hope that you see the excitement that we have for this new partnership. And uh, as in any new partnership, having a long history of a foundation to build on is very helpful. So I'm tremendously excited by how we're going to move forward and uh, look forward to many further developments in the near and further future. Thank you very much all for coming. do you feel today with this new uh, expanded partnership with Maimonides for the neurology department? I am absolutely thrilled that uh, Maimonides and Downstate have come together to really improve patient care who need neurology problems, uh, who have neurology problems rather, and it really does harness the strengths of both institutions. We've got terrific neurologists at both campuses, uh, but by ourselves we won't be as strong as when we're together. So that's why we're bringing these two great institutions together again, to improve the care of patients. And where do you see us going in the future with this merger? Well, we hope that this will be the platform for future collaborations with Maimonides. Uh, there has been a strong uh, uh, sort of emotional connection to Maimonides. Many of the faculty either trained here or uh, went to medical school here. So we think it's a natural alliance that we'd like to see continue to grow over the years. And now in terms of this, this uh, joint venture, how many faculty are we going to have? Uh, it's going to be a joint venture approximately about uh, 15 to about 15 faculty initially and we hope to grow that number of faculty over 25 over time. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, want to expand services. Uh, we want to build out better capacity to take care of patients with stroke and multiple sclerosis and other complex neurological problems. Uh, so we think this is uh, fantastic. 
Well, you heard it here first from our new president here at SUNY Downstate Medical Center, Dr. Wayne Riley. We're excited for this new joint venture, and we look forward to more collaborations in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. So here we have the dean of the College of Medicine here at SUNY Downstate Medical Center, Dr. Carlos Batu, and with him we have our chair of neurology for the University Hospital, Dr. Rosenbaum. Thank you so much for being here with us today, and I hear that we have exciting news where we're dealing with a new venture, uh, a joint program in neurology with Maimonides. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, this is an opportune time to leverage the strengths of both institutions. Um, Maimonides has a long history of very strong clinical neurology. We have that, plus we have a lot of academics here, and it's a great opportunity to leverage both of those strengths to develop a unified program, a unified department, which will enhance patient care, education on all levels from medical students, residents, fellows, and ultimately it should also be able to increase our clinical research within the institution. Great. And would you like to add Great. to that, Dr. Patu? Well, this is an extraordinary opportunity to really dedicate ourselves to our community. Mm -hmm. The Brooklyn community has uh, unique and important needs that these two institutions have uh, been serving for generations. And the marriage of the academic uh, excellence that we can bring to the table, along with the clinical expertise that is so clear in what's being done at Maimonides, is, as Dr. Rosenbaum puts out, a, a great leading approach to really serving this community. And that's got to be our drive what we do for our patients. Wonderful. Well, we're very pleased with this joint venture and we look forward to more in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time. I'm Pat Winston. I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at Downstate for the hospital. And I attended this. I think it's wonderful. Dr. Rosenbaum is instrumental in all that we've done in neurology here at Downstate. Um, he, this is a welcome addition to have a partnership with Maimonides. It just provides us with more opportunity to give the best quality to our patients. This is new. This is wonderful. This is new for us here. This is our first relationship. We go back and forth. You know, we share, you know, um, opportunities, our physicians, but this is a first partnership. Our residents benefit educationally. Our patients benefit medically. And our attendings benefit by seeing the patients get better and teaching the residents. So we all benefit from this. The hospital benefits because we are able to bring in more patients to be seen. So we're here with Dr. Michael Lucchese, who is the Chief Medical Officer and the head of the Department of Emergency Medicine here at SUNY Downstate Medical Center. And today we just had a merger of the joint programs between Maimonides Hospital and SUNY Downstate University Hospital in the Neurology Department. So Dr. Lucchese, can you tell me how you feel about this joint program? Uh, it's, it's great. It's a great opportunity. I've been saying it for the longest time that we have to develop affiliations. It's just the way healthcare is going now with population health and, and, and just making things more valuable, more lean. Um, so this is a, this is a fantastic program. And, and um, Danny Rosenbaum, who's been selected to be the head of the, uh, the joint department, is the perfect candidate. And now it's my understanding that this is an, actually an expanded relationship with Maimonides. We already had some partnership with them originally, correct? Yes, we, we, we share, um, they train our medical students, so we have some clinical services that are, are both. But this is the first time in, in, in actual there's, there's one lead, one person in charge of both departments. So it really is one department. This is the first, it's never happened before. Okay. And what do you think is the major impact in the future now that we have this new expanded partnership? Well, I think that we have to keep our, our, um, uh, keep our minds open for other types of affiliations. And it might be continued with Maimonides. It might be with Kings County right across the street. It might be with the uh, one Brooklyn Health uh, Network that was is, seems to be forming in Brooklyn. But that's really the way that healthcare has to go. We have to consolidate services and uh, make things more efficient for the patients. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks. We're proud of today's announcement and of, uh, of $6 million in capital funding um, from our fiscal year 2017 budget. 
that will be invested in advancing economic development across the borough of Brooklyn uh, as part of our philosophy of from cradle uh, to career. So I want to thank our partners, uh, Eva Kramer, uh, Kathleen Otto from Biobat, uh, this beautiful place that we're in now, SUNY Downstate Medical Center, uh, a partner in Biobat, and I'm happy to have surrounded myself with individuals and people who are visionaries and who understand that in order to move Brooklyn in the correct direction, we have to make sure that we fund it in a proper manner. And I want to use your tax dollars because these millions of dollars that we're placing back into commerce, education, safety, these are not my tax dollars, these are your tax dollars. And we need to recycle them, leverage them, make sure that we have the right partnerships and protect them to get the product that we're looking for. So I want to turn it over to Diana Reyna, my partner here at Borough Hall, who's going to go into some of the things that we're doing around this issue. Diana? Borough President Adams and I have a very aggressive agenda for Brooklyn. And it's important that we build an integrated Brooklyn. Our pipeline of building cradle to career opportunities starts with economic development. We want to create opportunity grow good paying jobs, and provide equal access to economic prosperity. We want to connect people and businesses to opportunities by building and leveraging community, partnerships, like we are doing at Brooklyn Navy Yard, Biobat, Brooklyn Cruise Terminal, and the New York City De Economic Development Corporation. Biobat infrastructure and freight elevator, say no more. Look at this location. It is where people want to be as scientists, as lab technicians, as students, we want to make sure that we're giving Dr. Kramer, the birthing mother of the Biobat at SUNY Downstate, a round of applause because <laughs> applied sciences is not limited to just Roosevelt Island or the East River Science Park in Manhattan. Brooklyn has its own applied science campus, and it is right here at Biobat with the cooperation and leadership of SUNY Downstate. We expect and believe that we can build in Brooklyn 20,000 industrial jobs by 2020, and we're on that road. We take pride in Brooklyn and are committed to improving the quality of life as well as economic opportunities for all residents of Brooklyn. Thank you. And a great partner here uh, in the Sunset Park community, Carlos Machaca. Thank you. Thank you. Buenos dias a todos uh, and welcome to Sunset Park. And I'm very honored to be here with all of you today. Dr. Eva Kramer, uh, someone that I met early on when I was a staffer intern, first intern, then staffer at the Brooklyn Borough President's Office. Uh, I remember those days when you came in uh, when this was in idea stage and really kind of building steam on uh, and just getting support that we saw the vision and it's so beautiful to walk in uh, with Biobat uh, in its super modern uh, opening um, when, when there were no walls in this space. Uh, so we have been moving along and it feels good to be able to measure that success. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. I'm going to head back to City Hall. We have a couple <laughs> things to do. Um, but welcome everyone and Dr. Eva Kramer and your team and everyone here. Thanks for having us this morning. Well, thank you all for coming. This is really a tremendous honor. And I can't, I can't tell you how important Biobat is to all of Brooklyn. Um, and we could not do this without the support of our elected officials. We just, we just couldn't. Downstate is really undergoing a tremendous renaissance, and we're very excited about that. Um, you know, we're not just a hospital. We're the only academic medical center in the borough of Brooklyn. We have five incredibly strong schools, and, um, and we, uh, we keep people here in Brooklyn. We graduate uh, our students, and, and they stay, and they work, uh, for the most part, in Brooklyn, and, and the ones who don't uh, work in Brooklyn stay in New York City. So we're very, very excited about that. We have local people that come into our schools and, and, and they populate the, and, they, and they go out and educate. Um, so we're, we're very, very grateful. We could not, we could not do this without, without this help. It's, it's just amazing. Eva, uh, Eva, thank you. The, the, the birthing mother of, of Biobat. I'm going to take that home to campus. I'm going <laughs> to see how that runs up. So, so thank you all very much. And our last, last speaker, I believe it brings it full circle, um, uh, Jeff Wong, uh, president of IBX, um, the thera therapeutics. Uh, he's attended in Biobat. Uh, moving away from my prepared remarks, I, I think uh, 
I want to tell the story uh, briefly of how uh, IRX came to uh, Brooklyn. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we were originally uh, happily ensconced out in Long Island in Melville at a, a state facility. And one day we got a notice that our lease wasn't going to be renewed. So panic set in. Uh, we made a few calls. We thought about uh, Stony Brook, but uh, somebody introduced us to Eva, who have had the facility at the incubator um, uh, at uh, near SUNY Downstate. And so we came sort of begging to say, do you have any space in the inn? And I don't know how she did it, but she gave us two, two rooms, and we relocated. So a few years later, Eva said, um, I need someone to break the ice. And we said, well, you know, we're very comfortable at that downstay, we're all set, it's a lot of work to move. And lo and behold, we're all upstairs now and all of you are welcome to come visit our beautiful facility. So we're, we're very thankful to Eva and then having talked to Eva, we discovered of course all this wouldn't happen without the support of the borough president, uh, uh, would not happen without the support of uh, New York City and everybody else that uh, Eva has corralled over time. So we're very happy to, to be here. So you have our commitment to help grow the scientists of the future. R&D is not only research and development of ideas of people who are in corporate environments, but the research and development starts in preschool and even before that. When children play together, they learn together, they grow together, they share ideas together, they solve problems together. And that's the direction we're moving in in the borough of Brooklyn. There's no greater role I have as the borough president is to create and live out the theme of One Brooklyn. We're one place where we're going to show the entire globe how the love of Brooklyn can cascade throughout the country, throughout the entire globe, and people can learn to live together as one. One place, the greatest members of the greatest race, and that's the human race, and I'm proud to be the member of the Borough President of Brooklyn. Thank you very much. So thank you so much for joining us at SUNY Downstate's Health Center. Like I said, we had an exciting day today. We are so excited to move on and have this venture with Maimonides, and we look forward to future collaborations with other institutions. We're glad that you were able to join us, and hopefully you'll t tune in to our next episode. Take care. <laughs>